Seven here. How's everybody doing today? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 2013, and we are on the Pleasant Valley map, version three, I think. Sure. So the last time we were out and about, we got rid of a bunch of surplus gear we didn't particularly need, and uh, picked up this fine, fine forage wagon. And we've been making use of it. I have finished the other field. And we're just going to get a start on this guy. Also, picked up a little vehicle, but I don't really know where it is. So when we run across it, I'll show it to you. I needed something as a runabout here on the farm. So. And I wasn't about to drop $50,000 on the service vehicle. At least not at this point. But we'll see how that goes. I don't even know where it is at the moment, so there you go. So we did pretty good getting the straw off of the wheat field. Um, not sure which one's going to produce more here. I think I was getting a little more per row of the wheat, but I think wheat produces a bit more straw as well. So, so far no damage to our forage wagon, and it's picked up quite a bit of straw. Well, actually, yeah, it has. 2%. Ooh. I wonder what we did. I think I might have tapped it into the wall there when I was backing it up to dump one load, so we'll have to see. I hope not. Got to be careful, things are not cheap. Not cheap at all. I should probably... I think when I get to the top of this row, I'm going to hop out and get a tractor and cultivator going on that other field so we can prep it for our next go. Because I'm just waiting to see if we don't, uh, don't manage, oh, I'm off course, yikes, um, to pick up a great demand eventually here, so, kind of figure that'd be nice. But as you can see, we did pretty good, we have almost 150,000 wheat, and we have almost 200,000 barley, so... Uh, if a great demand comes up, we should be doing pretty darn nice. So. Oh, so many places. You don't lay potatoes. That you, they only take potatoes. <laughs> Just something says that. Wow. 23 sheets to get through for the crop lispings, eh? <laughs> I guess between there being so many places to buy and so many different crops, that becomes necessary. Uh, currently no great demands. Apparently nothing coming up in the next few days either, eh? Hey? Okay. Well, that's alright. I'll just close that off for the moment. So, two rows and we're only at 53%, eh? Hey? Yeah. I think we've, uh... Yeah, I know I meant to stop up there, but I get looking at things. I think, I think we're going to need... I'm pretty sure it's 9.30 in the morning. I wonder why it's so gloomy looking out here. Well, it's not good. It says it's a sunny day. Hmm. I don't know. Boop, boop, boop. A hop in the hay piles. Okay. So I want a tractor. And... Oh, I traded in that little, uh... Oh, what the heck are they? Geotrack that we had? Yeah, I got rid of that and one of our small trailers and picked the next size trailer up. And my old favorite, the little Schluter. So, hee hee hee. In fact, I think we're going to use him right now to do some cultivating for us. Daddy, come on, come on. Yeah, this other trailer that I picked up right over here, as you can see we have the two different sizes now. The bigger one holds about three times as much, so you can actually empty a harvester. How's that for craziness? <laughs> Whoa. You see that slide on the back end? That was something. I have to throw some salt down here in my parking lot, so maybe that's why it's so gray. Maybe it's the middle of winter, I never thought of that. <laughs> Alrighty. There's the little vehicle I picked up. Kind of a neat little thing. 
does all kinds of weirdness, but we'll get to it eventually. It's also a fuel and uh, seed and that sort of thing as well, it does. If we go over to our Stara pile, check it out. There's what we got off the wheat field. Now that's just the wheat field. So 162,000. Not bad. Well, that's going to keep us in straw for a little bit. However, by the same token, we should come pretty close to doubling that. Alright. And you, I think we're going to let uh, let old John Boy handle this job for us. There we go. Nice. So, oh, well, here we are. Zip out here a little bit. It's a nice, stable little vehicle. It's very inexpensive. It was only two thousand dollars. So, and it will do uh, that. <laughs> so yeah, you can have this little uh, back on it. Or you can have just the plain one. That sort of adds that to it. Uh, what else does this little puppy do? Or you can do that. And as you can see, it carries fertilizer, fuel, and seed bags. And it will also do the same on the other side. So, pretty neat little truck. But, we don't actually need this guy right now. As I say, it rides well, it handles well. Um, <laughs> makes quite a lot of noise when it shuts down for one reason or another. So, but yeah, not a bad little truck. Um, the only thing I kind of wish... Well, I guess a 3 point we'll have to wait till we can afford to buy the... Uh, whatchamacallit there? My Unimog. And... You. Yes, indeed, you. Let's get you back. We need to get the rest of the straw off this field, so when our cultivator is done, we'll be able to come back here and do this one up. So... Um... Now... I'm not going to mention any names here. The person knows who they are. But I run a fairly family-friendly sort of a YouTube channel. You know, I try not to do a lot of cursing and swearing, even when I drop my three-pound microphone into my lap or on my toe. A darn or a damn is about as far as I get. Well, in the last couple of days, somebody has seen fit to comment on quite a few of my videos, which I don't mind. I love to see the viewership. Don't mind that they make comments. They even made some reasonably good points, but... Um, be warned right now, if you're going to insist on having every second word as a swear word and no concern at all for the channel's content as opposed to what you're leaving for comments, your comments are never going to make public. Okay, I have a filter in place that anybody that does do something like that, it comes up as spam, so I get to choose whether or not I'm going to allow it to be printed before anybody else gets to see it. I deleted three different comments this morning, all from the same person. Again, not because I disagreed, and disagreeing with a comment, I won't delete it for that. Um, but no, I, I won't abide that kind of language on my channel. If I don't use it, I assure you no one else is going to either. So, anyway, got that little bit of whining and moaning out of the way. So, yes, I know, this is, this is excitement like you just can hardly do it. So, of course, we can adjust the levels. I think I've actually adjusted the level on this guy. I should have probably done the same for the cultivator. He could have got done a little quicker. Well, that's all right. I don't think we need to be in too much of a hurry. Okay. Now, that's going to be a bit... A bit much to uh, 
or a, a bit too little, I should say, to bother with another row. So I think I'll just flip this off now, and then we'll start again. And we're a few units, a few units shy of the full one. I guess I could also buy a Mish station now if I wanted to. We do have the year for it. Yeah, one thing I've learned is uh, as soon as it gives you that tip symbol, tip. There's no point backing in there at all. Backing into that load of straw can actually damage the trailer with the damage mod in place. So, just so you guys know. In fact, maybe, I think what I'm going to do here is go over to my little cheapy service station. There's some pretty nice ones around now. There's a service station that'll actually lift an entire semi-truck and trailer off the ground on a hoist. It's kind of cool. It doesn't actually do anything by lifting it onto a hoist, but it sure looks cool. <laughs> Alright. Now, we have 2% damage on this trailer, so... Hopefully I'm not going to do 20% damage backing it into this garage. But that should be all it takes to fix it, if I remember rightly. You should just need to have it in here. There we go. Zero damage. It is fixed. So that's all you gotta do. Is back things in there or put things into your service station and it will fix them. Now it did take an amount of money for that. Unfortunately I didn't actually catch it. Sorry about that guys. I meant to figure out what that cost. Of course at 2% it uh, probably wasn't terribly expensive. Um, I have actually had repairs that were worth more than the vehicle itself, so... <laughs> That's never fun. Here we go. Yeah, it's not bad. 16 miles an hour, and that's quick enough for doing what we're doing. Lovely. So yeah, that's pretty much the plan. I'm going to uh, pick up the rest of the straw in these two fields. And then, uh, or on this field at any rate, and then I'm going to cultivate both of these. And I will wait to plant until we're next back together. Because we're going to figure out what we're going to do here about planting. I'm likely going to run more grains, at least for the moment. So, we'll see how that goes. But, I think at this point that'll be the plan. I think we'll run, want to run this, um, wheat and barley at least once more or perhaps both on the same i'm going to see how we make out here with the crops so. but other than that well we're doing well we're making progress for what is basically our third working day or second working day here on the farm we're not doing too badly we've managed to change up the equipment a little bit and managed to do some farming. Got some crops in the silos, which is always good. And a little bit of straw, which is again always good. Something I think we do need to get into soonish, soon-ish. I'm not going to start with animals until I have ways to feed them, so... Um... And the other thing I want actually mowers so because we do want to start cutting some grass here pretty soon right right mowers all right there's this thing which appears to be a sort of all-in-one unit the two side units and the center unit which is really cool um, because then with that, so you can do something like this, put this on the front, uh-huh, I think that's what we're going to do, we'll end up buying this front wind roar, and then uh, that big mowing kit, and I think that'll leave us in good stead for mowing. We don't have enough money for that, however, so we'll have to see. Um, I'm not going to sell any more gear, because I think pretty much everything we have now, we're going to need. So, um, 
Maybe next episode we'll have to uh, haul some grain down. Make a little sale. Take our bigger trailer, one trailer loader, so just enough that we can get those two items together. Because I do want to get the grass going pretty quickly. So. But I think that'll do it. You guys know where we are. I don't know why it's so dull out here. It's 10 o'clock in the morning. Hmm. But, uh, yeah. I think that's going to do it for this episode, guys. I'm going to pick up the rest of the straw, cultivate the two fields, and we'll go from there. Like I said, we might have to sell a little bit of crop here. But, hope you enjoyed the episode. Please leave comments, leave likes. Don't swear. <laughs> and, uh, take care of each other. This has been Species 7, and...